have a well-defined scope. That's it. I always thought projects had to be revolutionary, that I had to build the next Flappy Bird. Otherwise, it's a waste of time, why even bother? Honestly, I was looking at projects all wrong. Projects exist not because of the outcome, but because of the process. You aren't building a weather app to show the world the best weather app ever, but you're doing it to learn how to call an API, make your front end respond to dynamic requests, and handle errors. A common excuse I had though was that I didn't find any projects interesting. What I failed to realize was that the outcome was never interesting at all. But the process by which you understand how something is built? Now that's interesting. I also had this cocky assumption that I know how to build something, because I could theoretically do it. But theory is very far from practice. And that fills up a little node of knowledge that you pick up over time. Even building something as simple as a chessboard. Not the whole game, but just the board. That alone can teach you quite a bit about DOM manipulation and styling. Look at projects from the perspective of what you will learn, not what you will build. Okay, big box, I get it. It's all about the process, not the outcome, but how do I actually apply this stuff? Before you start your project, use your README as an outline. List out each functional aspect of the project as sort of a first draft of an MVP. So for the weather app, it would be as simple as fetching data from an API. And to keep it simple, you can just make a button that sends the request. And number two would be rendering the information depending on the results. In the beginning, you can just render it out in the console and then dynamically populate your web page with the responses. That's it. Once you've done each line, your project is done. You've essentially gotten 80% of the value of this project from 20% of the work. And if you want to focus on something like styling, testing, you can build on top of this project. Just add another line of requirements. One way to discover these requirements is to write user stories, which is something that's already widely used in the industry. User stories are small chunks of work that a user can interact with. So as a user, I want to call the current weather, which again is just fetching the data from the button. As a user, I want to see the weather data, which again is rendering the data. For technical work, what I like to do is flip this around and create something called engineering stories. These are things the users can't see or feel, but are equally as important important. For example, as an engineer, I'd like to see unit tests and dry patterns implemented. Fundamentally, all that matters is that your goals are small, well-defined, and focused. Most applications really are just these small requirements jumbled up together. Oh, and I almost forgot. My final engineering story is that I want to see you succeed. Thank you for your time. I am Big Box.